Fucking load times are atrocious. <laughs> oh, this is this is your life, and it's ending, one minute at a time. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Date, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Signs of Darkness, a very very early access action RPG. Uh, it's a little bit rough, if you want me to be completely honest, but the character models are pretty. Um, it might have some potential if it opens itself up a little bit. Right now it's really linear as far as the quest goes. So this is uh, our main character. Let's let's make him a big fat boy. I won't play the fat boy. And then we'll make him uh, angry because contrary to popular belief, fat people are usually angry. You see? Um, and then head age, I guess. We'll make him young. Because you get those big eyes, which is... Uh, pretty adorable. So we'll start the game up. There's clothing options as well, but I'm not going to play around with those too much. It doesn't make too much difference. Uh, I assume that we'll get new gear at some point, maybe. Uh, it, even if it's not in the game now, we will get it eventually, I am sure, because that's that's what you do in an RPG. It's half for adventuring, half for playing dress up. Um, you'll also get quite used to these loading screens, because they are fucking everywhere. Try to talk to somebody, loading screen. Go into a house, loading screen. Go out of a house, loading screen. It's, um, it's rough, to say the least. So we wake up face down. You've been drinking again, haven't you? Look at this fella here. What you doing? What you doing? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Um, can we, can we, can we walk a little? Maybe I should use controller. So let's, uh, let's try some of these moves out. Show me your moves! Show me your moves! Look at that acrobatic ability. Wow. What a what a bro. Oh, hello there. Well, his mouth doesn't move. He's supposed to be a cat person. Talks kinda like a Khajiit. Who are you? What happened? Wait a minute, aren't you the apprentice to the crazy old wizard that lives on the hill? What wizard? Never mind, I'm sure you're a bit shaken up from that drop. Anyway, that wizard friend of yours disappeared from town a few days ago after spreading word of a plan to overthrow the king of Rosenfair. I don't... what? Rosenfair? Boy, you must have banged your head pretty hard from that fall. You're in the kingdom of Rosenfair, my friend. Have you gone mad? The death of King Joffrey occurred just days after the wizard disappeared. What's really on my mind is why you, his apprentice, got kidnapped by those goblins and thrown down here to die. You must have really pissed someone off, that's for sure. Goblin bounty hunters are cheap these days, you know. I was out gathering resources when I spotted goblins dragging your unconscious body towards the graveyard. Shortly after, they tossed you down here into the undercrypt. Before I knew it, I was blindsided, probably by a scout. He threw me down here as well. We must find a way out. By the way, my name is Zuri. We stand a better chance of getting out of here together. You take the lead since you got us into this mess. Okay, sure. Found some weapons over there. Here, take these. Oh, cool. Long sword. I want a long sword and shield. Super. Fantastic. Wonderful day. So, uh, cat people. Sounds kind of like Brandar, doesn't he? You remind me of a friend from a, from long ago. Friend? That's what I'll call you. <laughs> he says his name's Zori, but I know who he really is. So we've got our uh, health and mana for the entire party in the upper left. I don't know if I'm actually going to get any party members besides uh, Zori. I assume at some point, but we've got to go deeper into the game in order to do so. Get a little bit of gold from this here crate. And, uh, can we run? Press L stick. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Or shift, if, uh, you're that sort. Oh my. Some, uh, motion blur. Let's destroy this mage. Press Y button. To toggle battle menu. Well, that kind of slows down the action, doesn't it? Cast fire on the goblin mage for 53 damage. And it's got quite a cooldown. Oh, press R stick to lock on. That's helpful. And then I've got my little dive. I could be like, hey, over here. Haha. Now I'm here. 
overall uh, combat feels a little bit sluggish. Largely due to the uh, the sword swinging, it's just not as fast as it should be, in my opinion. And then you've also got the uh, the motion blur, which is really causing a few frame rate drops. The suggested spec says that this thing could be played on a potato, <laughs> for the most part, despite the beautiful graphics. But uh, maybe it's because of early access. Maybe it's because my rig is not up to par. Either way, we're now out of the undercrypt, so. We'll go into the big wide world, and we'll see we'll see what it has to offer. It's kind of nice to play this game with a controller. A lot of uh, RPGs and stuff like that feel a little wonky with a controller. Mostly Skyrim. I'm mostly talking about Skyrim. <laughs> because that is the most ubiquitous action RPG that basically anybody can think of. As you can tell, this is taking a super long time to load. So, in the meantime, we'll just uh, let our minds wander, do some comparisons to Skyrim because that is the main game that this would be competing against. Um, overall, does it stack up? No, <laughs> not in the least. At least not yet. Um, maybe someday it could be something worth playing, but at the moment I think it's uh, something worth laughing at for the most part. It, it doesn't impress me too much. We need to kill these bastards before they get back up. There are more up ahead. Okay, kill remaining bounty hunters lurking near the exit. Oh... These goblins. Let me tell you something. I hate goblins. I am also, uh... I also hate this game. I'm not one to mince words when it comes to things like this. Only one to mince goblins. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one! Battle menu. Yeah, we can do that. Look at that. Lock on. All of a sudden it's like, hey! Hey! How you doing, bro? I don't have the mana to cast Incinerate on this guy. I guess that's the Goblin Fighter. We've got a Goblin Mage. I guess that's the Mage. You dare to challenge me? Yeah, why not? What are you gonna do, bro? I suppose I should uh, try blocking some attacks. That That's his block. He's like, eh. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. Oh, <laughs> you touched me. You did touch me. There we go. Fall right on over. Yeah, combat is just super sluggish. Hitting the controls and doing it all right, I assume. But, um, yeah, it just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Look at this big motherfucker trying to roll out of the way. Think that's gonna happen? Not today, sir. I need to watch my stamina. That's the problem I'm having for the most part. Dodge out of the way of his attacks. Oh yeah, bro. It's just like Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, I'm tired of everybody comparing every game to Dark Souls. This game's not like Dark Souls at all. It's its own creation, which I appreciate the attempt, that's for sure. But yeah, overall I don't I don't think it's worth twenty dollars. It's quite a hefty price to ask. Look at all this motion blur during combat. What the fuck? Is that necessary? I'll just dive, dive out of the way there. Let's see if we can heal my buddy. I don't want a uh, uh, fake Brandar to go down. Have some of these. Alright, that, that seemed to work okay. Now combo, combo, combo wombo. We are doing like no damage to this big fuck. It's gonna take me just a minute, just a minute to get through this. So long that the, uh, the combat music has stopped completely. <laughs> That does not bode well. Even just standing here watching these two go at it, it's uh, just way too much motion blur. The enemies do feel like they're being hit, you know, they do stagger, it's got some nice sound effects. Um, the game is not a complete loss, however, it, it definitely needs some help in a big, big way. Lots of things will probably be tweaked before it comes out of early access, so I do say that that is a, a hopeful thing. But at the moment, probably don't buy the game unless you're just looking to help out an indie developer. Um, I do appreciate them notifying me of this game, offering me a key and such, and I really do like action RPGs, but this overall is just uh, a bit of a disappointment, if you want me to be completely honest. Like I said, I ain't gonna mince words. 20 bucks is not a small price to pay. 
So we gotta we gotta be honest with each other, don't we? Kill the bounty hunters finished. Hooray! Some EXP, some gold. Let's head back to my shop. We need to figure out what the hell's going on. I marked the location on your map with ZS. I guess that's for Zuri's shop. Uh, and then there's some bottles I can pick up on the grounds. Okay. That's spiffy. I get you spiffy in a jiffy. So yeah, no corpses to loot. Oh my god, look at that flick frame rate drop. Just just take a second, catch up game. <laughs> you gotta play some catch up, I understand. Yeah, the environment is relatively pretty. I I do like that part of the game, but it just needs a lot more polish before I can be like, yeah. Go ahead. Spend uh, a couple hours worth of worth of money. You work those two hours to get twenty dollars? I mean if you're broke like me, then you did. And yeah, go ahead. Just just spend it on this. No. I would never say that. <laughs> if it's worth twenty dollars, I'll I'll tell you so. If it's not, um I'll also tell you that. And hopefully that's not too blunt, you know? I've had a few publishers that get uh a little bit upset when I'm so honest with them. But yeah, look. The sword kind of like swinging into the dude's face and stuff. Like, <laughs> even the animations, uh, the character models are nice, but the animations aren't really fully fleshed out yet. So, hmm. I shake my finger at this game thus far. But yeah, early access since uh, December 15th or something. It's had a couple of months to, to get things together. But most of what it's been working out is like bugs. <laughs> Unexpected bugs. They haven't really added many new features from what I understand. So we loaded into Zuri's house. Eat, it has been your fate all along. These goblets smell like brimstone smoke. Did you see how they appeared out of nowhere? Someone or something must be summoning them here. I'm particularly worried about that one. The one with glowing red eyes. I forget his name. Wait, it was Rufus. Bardo once told me he witnessed Rufus kill ten men with his bare hands in ten seconds. Bardo then described him, gray skin, glowing red eyes with a white mohawk. I could never forget that. You are in great danger, my friend. Search the town for a little. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Hey, put our entire town in danger by staying here. Just, just come hang out. Oh, and now we're done talking, so you get a little loading screen. Exit the house, get a little loading screen. I'm, uh... Getting a little taste on my tongue of Sonic 06. Uh, the loading screens wouldn't be that bad if there was at least something on them. A little tidbit of lore, something like that. Something to keep me invested in the world, but at the moment, uh, it's probably not on the list. Probably not on the list. So there we are, back in the, uh, the fields of Fibrook, as it were. I guess it's time to go explore some houses, get something done. Uh, the characters don't seem extremely fleshed out either. You know, uh, Zuri was just like, Hey, I'm, I'm the guy that helps you out in the beginning. And kind of points you in the, in the right direction. Which really, there is only one right direction in this game. As I mentioned, it's very, very linear. You can do quests in, uh, the order that you'd like to do them. But, uh, if you go running off into the woods or something, it's probably not a good idea. They they don't want you to leave until they're ready for you to leave. I also can't seem to sheath my sword. So, hello, innkeeper. I'm sorry I have a sword out. I don't know how to put it away. <laughs> I'm not a very good fighter. Welcome to the Grey Candle. Unfortunately, we don't have any vacancies at the moment. There are um, maintenance issues. Perhaps you can go back tomorrow. What maintenance issue? You shit a clogged? <laughs> Don't tell Stewart this, but we had three customers check out today, claiming they'd seen a ghost or a spirit of some sort. I'd personally advise you to stay away from here until we figure out exactly what our guests are experiencing. I'll have to travel to Renton later to see if I can find a ghost hunter. Stewart has been very frustrated by the loss of business here at the Grey Candle. Stewart claims he hasn't seen any ghosts personally. I can't say I've seen any myself, either. It's almost as if they want to scare our guests away or something. Maybe I could help you. Really? Seawick won't let me rent any rooms until these so-called ghosts stop scaring people away. Maybe we'll have this taken care of by tomorrow. Ah, I said I'd go take a look, fuckface. You want me to or not? Oh, that sounds great. Room 3, report back if you see anything suspicious. Sure. Sure I will. 
That sounds great. Oh, an empty, an empty dresser. That's something. At least I can interact with the dressers, right? Even if there's nothing in them. And uh, the people? Nope. 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 Nothing. Nothing doing. But hey, here's another dresser. Let's take all the gold. Nobody flags me for stealing. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, whatever. I don't know what that dude's doing. Oh, here's a guy I can talk to. This is Siwik of the Grey Candle. I'm a tad busy right now. Okay, well, I'm trying to do some fucking work for you. So that was room one. This is room two. This is a, a save crystal, which uh, I probably won't bother saving this game because I don't really plan to come back to it at any point. Maybe if, if I hear word on the grapevine that it is improving in some significant way, I'll be like, I should probably check it out again. But uh, the download isn't that big. I can get it done in an hour or so. Ooh, potion flask. I guess it's good to rummage through people's things. That's one thing I've learned from RPGs. Always go a-rummaging. It can't hurt, especially when nobody, uh, nobody will tell on you for stealing. There's no tattletales in this town. No guards, no nothing. That's not very good. So, what is this, like the fifth room we've explored or some shit like that? Ooh, steel leggings. Hell yeah. Let me see how them, thems look. Uh, equipment, right? Yeah. Padded leggings will change to steel leggings. And they do show up on your character model, so that's pretty sweet. I'll be like super heavy armor guy. It's quite kind of them. And I guess this is the room, the only room with a door. And I can't even close the door. The fucking thing just <laughs> flies up and away, I guess. Oh, but I do like the, the footprints that you leave behind. It's kind of cool. I wonder if NPCs do the same thing. Um, dresser? Can I, can I search this dresser? No? Okay. Okay, great. Search all the dressers, except this one. Oh, there's a locket in the drawer with a mist surrounding it, as if it were made of ice. Take the locket. <laughs> hey! Hey, buddy! How you living? It doesn't seem like he's making any footprints, but maybe that's because he's a ghost. You're a fucking ghost, aren't you? Give a block on? That, that didn't really work. Yeah, this this uh, combat is just really, really clunky. I don't enjoy that at all. It does feel nice when you hit something. They do recoil, but... um. Yeah, overall, pretty disappointing, I have to say. So, Unwanted Guest Act 2 has been activated. I guess Act 2 is, go tell the guy that you did the thing. Oh, what an epic! <laughs> what an epic we're living in right now! Hey, Baldi, I did it. You got rid of it too, you're really a ghost hunter. Yeah, whatever. I'll tell Simwick of your findings. I'm sure he'll be excited to hear the news. Okay. Should I go tell him too? Hey buddy, I, I did a thing. Could you come back later? Oh, fucker. You're a ghost hunter and you destroyed the spirit, well I'll be damned. Thanks to you, business should get back on track. Take this as a token of my appreciation. I hear it works well to ward off evil spirits. Rusted longsword. Hell yeah! Equipment upgrade! Check me out, meow. Plus two instead of plus one. <laughs> I guess it's better than nothing. Whatever, bruh. Let's get out of this place. Nothing else left to do here, I suppose. Hey, you got rid of a spirit. Great job. Take this plus one sword. Uh, okay, great. Thanks. I feel like a true warrior now. <laughs> really, I think the, the steel leggings were probably the best part of what I got out of that mission. Everything else is just kind of like, eh, well, eh, whatever. So you spawn in facing the fucking door you just left. Great choice there. And, uh, where should we go? I think that's, yeah, that's Zuri's shop. We should have tried to buy something from Zuri. I have a few gold pieces now that I might offer in exchange for some goods or services, hmm? Yes, quite. And, uh, every house kind of looks similar around here. Stuck in the stairs. I can forgive that. If the combat was extremely polished and the story wasn't so linear, I'd be like, ah, step of the stairs, that's a little thing. But instead, I'll, uh, I'll point it out. I'll be like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? 
What did you get right? <laughs> I don't mean to be so harsh, but um, yeah, got the call that does a seize it, don't I? Hey, another innkeeper with a quest. What's up? What brings you here? If it's good, wholesome food, you've come to the right place. I'm Hilda, and this is my kitchen. Heard goblets have been spotted. It's getting awfully dangerous. Yep, there may be more in the area thanks to me. It's because I'm still here. Usually the reports are right. I need more eggs to finish my marvelous cake. Ooh, good, uh, good transition there. <laughs> uh, I've never baked anything taller than a two-layer cake. My husband's 40th birthday needs a four-layer cake. That's four, you know, and four zero. You should make a 40-layer cake, Hilda. That would fucking knock his socks off. He sh she should have stored more eggs. But it's too far and dangerous to go to the chicken coop. Okay, I'll go. I'll take a look. It's marked CH for chickens. Thank you so much. Now let's get back to a fucking loading screen. This seems like a good use of my time and talents. Risking my life to go get some chicken eggs for some some old fuck. I mean, really, if you're if you're living back in the medieval times, you're not gonna be 40. You're gonna be dead at 32. <laughs> Done. Game over, kid. Which maybe uh, makes life a bit more meaningful. Or maybe not. I don't know. I ain't no, uh, I ain't no scientist or whatever. Lifespan scientist. So, relatively easy. Run and fetch quest. Yep, this is about what I'd expect. <laughs> Pretty soon they're gonna be telling me, kill ten goblins. I'll be like, oh, great. I'm so engaged. <laughs> this story has so much depth to it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Damn! That's good! Ah, <sighs> Well, hello chickens. Nobody in here but us chickens! And me now. Take the eggs. Take the eggs. And there's a, a misspelling. <laughs> Hilda's kitchen. I gotta take this back to Hilda. And I think I remember which house is hers. Kinda? Like I said, all the houses look the fucking same. It's kinda hard to tell where I'm going! And of course she didn't get a mark on her map. Or is that her? It's like a little grayed out figure. I guess I'll try this house. I really don't just want to walk into random houses because the, the fucking load times are atrocious. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is your life and it's ending. One minute at a time. And I jump instead of opening the door. Yeah, get a bit of OCD, you know? If I don't jump before I open the door or wash my hands every 40 minutes, uh, I'm gonna die. Or my mother's gonna die. Maybe she's, maybe she's already dead. That's so sad. Hey, elf lady. What's up? How you living? Loading screen to talk to the elf lady. Oh! Oh, what's this? Tabletop. Give me a little tutorial. Oh, we gotta load the tutorial. <sighs> of course! The amount of resources that are indicated to the left-hand side of the screen. That's the right-hand side. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> we're gonna have some trouble here. I can see how it's sort of strategic um, with the resources that have to be collected and stuff like that, but um, yeah, like everything else, it's it's just gonna need a lot more work before it's it's something worth playing. Oh, and we're gonna crash, aren't we? That, that's fucking fantastic. The best. What a way to end things. Oh no, we didn't. Thank God. Oh, oh wow. Can I can I fuck this bar up or what? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nobody even wants to talk to me. Guess I'll go deliver my fucking eggs. <sighs> How do you like your eggs, lady? Fertilized. Whoa. Yeah, you're moving a little fast there, aren't ya? Yeah, as, as with most games, I ended up going a little too gung-ho off the bat with Battle Hex, but it's, it's the most promising part of this game that I've seen so far. You know, 
if you dig up a tile all the way, then no more units can cross it, so uh, digging up a bunch of tiles in a row is like a valid strategy to sort of defend your base. And then you have to get like carrier units to fly them across, I would assume. But yeah, overall, mm, I don't think it's... I don't think it's working for me. I don't think it's... yeah. Not worth playing. Not yet. At least. So, I think this was the house. Obviously walked into the wrong house, because again, they all fucking look the same. <laughs> oh boy. It's not good. It's not good. I don't know why it's so not good, but it's not good. Alright. Look at all this right here. Go ahead, load me in. Just do it. Just do it. I suppose you didn't run into any goblins. Nope, just a fucking fetch quest. I'm worried about my husband Henry. He visits his father's grave on his birthday. He's been gone for too long. Dude, your brother or your fucking husband and your your stepdad or father-in-law have the, the same birthday? That means the day he died was the same day as his birthday and the same day as his son's birthday. That's like some Freudian shit. You got a lot of issues to work through, don't you, Hilda? I can go to the graveyard. That would be swell. I've heard a lot of rumors about Tuck's graveyard, so be careful. You've never been there? I'll mark it on your map. Okay, thanks. Um... So... Let's head to the graveyard, I suppose. Go here. Kill this many enemy. Collect this item. Oh boy. Really mixing up the action RPG formula here, aren't we? <laughs> Oh my god, please kill me. I don't know, there's just not a whole lot of uh, anything redeeming in this game. If I can be quite, quite honest. Which I have been, largely. But I just hope not to, not to bruise any buttholes. Not to smash any feelings or dreams. Because it could be something, if uh, you were given a bit more freedom and the like. Oh, this is the end of the road. There's no fucking marking for the graveyard. So I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, whatever. I got health potions. I should probably use some of these. Yeah, give me this. Gives me that. It doesn't really show, like, a, a health update or anything. It's just like, okay, you used it. Oh, there, it does have a little sound. Did I not hear the sound before? What's the deal? I think those fucking health potions only recovered 10 each. Which ain't good. I got like 750 fucking health or something like that. That's crazy. That's so crazy, dude. Alright, well I'm just gonna run into the woods. Try and find Tuck's graveyard. And uh, we can see if this game has... Oh god. There's a couple of enemies out this way. Goblin Mage and Hellhound. Well, nice to see you with the little knockdowns. Oh god. And some cheap shots. Cheap shots, bro. Well, maybe I'm fucking dead already. This is what I mean. They don't want you to do anything um, unless the it's, it's strictly stated that this is the place that you need to go. That fucking motion blur going out of control again. Yep, just, just light me on fire. End my suffering, please. And of course that guy gets one more hit on me before he fucking dies. <sighs> Sounds fair. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. And here's uh, Lizalfo from fucking <laughs> Legends of Zelda. <sighs> you way over there? I'll light you on fire, bro. Wait, no I won't. Because I don't have any fucking mana. About magic potion? Now can I light you on fire? <sighs> Maybe. We'll see about it. Nope. I, I don't even know about this game. I don't know what the fuck you expect from me. Am I supposed to be impressed? Am I supposed to pay twenty dollars for this? This fucking pile. He's got eighteen health left. Oh, oh, sure. Just fucking interrupt my heavy attack, why don't you? Good lord. Collect some more potions. I don't get enough potions to fucking 
overcome the damage that I take. <sighs> so this is probably not the way to go. They're just uh, throwing three enemies at me at a time. But who knows, maybe, I maybe I'll die at some point, and then there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. No more signs of darkness, as it were. <laughs> and I can retire. I can put this game to bed forever. That would be... that would be most uh, enjoyable to me. I do like that you see uh, the enemy health bar pop up and you're like, Where is he? Lock on! You don't even have to be facing him. It's just like, hey bro, he's over here. He's over here, go get him. I hit him for 93 damage though. I assume that's a crit. Or maybe these guys just take a lot of fucking extra... extra damage. I don't really know how anything works in this game. <laughs> And he drops his health potions way over here. Hmm, helpful. Health potion? More like help potion. This game needs a help potion. <laughs> oh. With my first foray into this game, I actually ended up uh, assuming that I could set out on my own path. And I ran down a path for probably uh, two hours or so before I died. <laughs> and I found nothing. Literally nothing. If the town isn't marked on your map, don't, don't try and find it. There's no caves or anything to explore either. This game is just really, really bad. <laughs> I really hope to see some improvements, especially if it hopes to uh, keep up with its competitors in the action RPG genre. Which really, it's, it's not even an action RPG, is it? You want to cast a spell or something like that? You fucking pause everything. Which I guess Skyrim does the same thing. You can pause and drink your potion or whatever. But it's frustrating. To say the very least. Oh, the sun's going down now. That's nice. Maybe I should find somewhere to rest for the night. Maybe I should hope for my untimely demise. <laughs> 250 health? No problem, bro. Let's shoot right through that shit. I'm a hero. I'm an adventurer. I used to be an adventurer like you. Until I played Signs of Darkness. <laughs> and I uninstalled Steam. Oh, look at all these flasks. Get in the flask. It's a little Nicky reference. My goodness. Who would have thunk it? probably shouldn't be spending so much time in this game looking for something uh, to redeem it, because there's really nothing. Truly. And I hate to say that about the game and just be like, you know what, I write it off completely, but at the moment, until some more work is done in early access, I wouldn't pay $5 for this game. Asking for 20 is uh, fucking ludicrous. Fucking ludicrous. Especially when... Yeah, you can get Skyrim for, like, that $5 price point. Now, when the new Elder Scrolls comes out, ooh, let me tell you about that, boy. That's gonna be a big old price point. But, it will be worth it. I'd rather, uh, buy Elder Scrolls than buy this game three times. <laughs> That's pretty simple math. Pretty simple math. So, the town is way back that way. I do have that marked on the map. Or on the compass, I guess is more accurate. There's not actually a fucking map in this game. Which is a little bit frustrating. Or a lot of bit frustrating. These werewolves are just assholes. Hellhound. They hit super hard. And then even when they're about to go down, they like... Have one more fucking swing left in them. Every fucking time. Of course I got turned around during combat. I will say that, it has a compass. <laughs> there is no map, but there is a fucking compass. So, uh, yeah, this is basically what happens. Complete the quest in town, and then they're like, hey, why don't you go run through the woods forever? And just fight a bunch of, not a bunch of different enemies, it's the same four enemies. Goblin fighter, goblin mage, uh, Dramadon, hellhound. Enjoy. Enjoy the vast variety, this world we've set forth for you <laughs> to explore. Oh, God. I'd rather not. Honestly, I'd rather not. Could I Could I not? Is that an option? Fortunately, yes it is. 
it is quite indeed an option. Heavy attack. <gasps> Whatever, I'll just fall down this hill. Fucking lay in the grass. Look at this, there's so many fucking enemies. Dramadon, Goblin Fighter, Hellhounds. All over me. And I'm fucking dead. Oh, I got rezzed. Isn't that super? Anyways, friends, this has been Signs of Darkness. Um, stay far away from this game. If you want to support an indie developer, if you enjoy action RPGs enough to uh, find something redeeming in this game, then good for you! Please leave a comment and tell me what that is. <laughs> um, yeah, I've spent far too long with it already. The tile board game thing seems like it could be promising, but everything else is just uh, frustrating. It is a fucking mess. Game over, thank god. There's not even a death animation. <laughs> oh god! Anyways, friends, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. The episode specifically, not necessarily the game, because um, we both know how that would go. <laughs> it's, it's not my favorite thing. Not even close. But um, I'm glad the dev's trying, you know? It's good to get out there and, and try and make your passion. You don't be off-put by a, a bigger, more successful studio trying to conquer the genre, you know? And honestly, if the game gets more polished and has a unique storyline and more purpose to it, I'd be glad to revisit it and such. But at the moment, it's, like I said, it's a hot mess. Like I said, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got links in the description as well. Uh, Twitter, Patreon, Discord, all of those available for your use if you'd like to support me in any of those ways. Thank you to Press Pause uh, for letting me know about Signs of Darkness, sending me a key to Signs of Darkness. I probably will be pressing pause on this game for uh, the foreseeable future, but I hope that you guys were able to eke some uh, constructive criticism out of it. Anyways, friends, once again, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Signs of Darkness. I will see you in the next one, friends, whatever that may be. And until then, bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.